Welcome to WebEx Wednesday. This week is all about internet connection. If you are having issues with your internet connectivity in WebEx, this episode's for you. Stay tuned. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us today. I'm Kim. And I'm Zach. And we're from Hungerford Technologies. Awesome. Another WebEx Wednesday is here for you folks. Like I said in the beginning, we're going to be talking about internet connectivity and WebEx. So we kind of want to cover three main topics um, before your meeting, wired versus Wi-Fi, and issues during the meeting. So let's start at the beginning. So before your meeting ever starts, um, speed tests. We will have links below um, on what the exact speeds are that Cisco recommends for your meetings, um, for your events, stuff like that. Um, from our professional opinions and what we've seen in the past, um, anything over about 20 megabytes per second is key. That's usually a great starting point. Again, we'll post those links below, we'll share the exact numbers, um, but that gets you off the ground. That gets you started, that gets you going, and it gets your meetings and your events looking and feeling great. Um, if those are not numbers that you have, you might wanna speak to your provider. Kim did this recently um, about possibly upgrading I have 200 megabytes per second, which I thought was pretty good. Kim has fiber. So uh, before her internet dropped all the time, uh, there was a lot of other issues that you were having, Kim. We talked about it. We were, you know, we were in meetings and we were like, Kim's gone. Kim's back. Oh, we can hear you, Kim. We can't hear you, Kim. But ever since you got fiber, you've been having a great time. Yeah, it's been awesome. Awesome. Um, so that's one thing. Fiber is great. It's not available everywhere, but it is the, the top tier. Um, and then if you don't have great internet, you're gonna have to talk to your provider, your internet service provider, ISP, Comcast, AT&T, those are the big names. Um, chat with them, Sig figure out what you can do, figure out how you can fix that, make it better. Um, and then also on the same note as that, check with the internet users in your house, your wife, your husband, your partner, your kids, um, in-laws, family, anybody who's there. If you're hosting a meeting or if you're in a meeting and you start to see something go wrong or the audio is bad, video is bad, holler up. Hey, it might be the PlayStation. It might be the PlayStation. It might be the computer. It might be Netflix. Ask them to take a break. Ask them to get off. Um, or again, talk to your internet service provider and get more internet so that you can handle those things. That's the big thing right there. Yeah, you potentially might need an upgrade. Definitely might need an upgrade. Yep. Next topic, wired versus Wi-Fi. Um, a lot of people... Um, have Wi-Fi in their house, and that's great. It's gonna work, it's gonna do a really good job. What we recommend and what Cisco recommends is a hardwired connection. So ethernet from your router into your computer or into your laptop is going to be the best way to have a stable connection. The only way that that can be broken is if you unplug it, cut the cable, or if you lose internet. Those are the only ways that you will lose internet if you are hardwired. If you're using Wi-Fi, the wind, the snow, the way that your house is built, um, people in the house where they're at, those things are factors. And those things have a big like play in whether your Wi-Fi is working correctly or not. Your Wi-Fi router can be the top notch, the best dog in the world. But if it's not in the right place, if you don't have good internet, it's not really worth it. Um, I have Wi-Fi. I love it. But I have my computer hardwired in. Kim has Wi-Fi, she loves it. She has her laptop hardwired in. These are ways that we're trying to negate the fact that internet could be bad um, by like making sure these little things actually work. Yeah, um, you might need to move your router too. So if yep. you're not able to have a hardwired connection in, make sure you're within a relatively close distance to your router. You don't want a bunch of walls or... Nope. Kim's got it, Kim's got it nailed down. All right, and finally, issues during the meeting. With WebEx, we have a great um, hub called Control Hub. Usually it's your company's name, .webex.com. Talk to your partner if you don't know what that is. Um, but in that hub, you can see analytics, you can see troubleshooting based on the email that has been used for meetings or events. You can see the meeting number, um, and you can figure out what kind of went on. Why was um, Kim having a hard time? Why was Zach having a hard time in his meeting? Was it his internet? Was it their computer? Was it her fiber went out? probably not going to happen. But what happened? What was the what was the issue? Um, if you're still having internet issues and you think you have great internet, um, turning off your video is a great first step. WebEx is optimized to work with audio and video flawlessly. It is great. 
But in some scenarios, if you don't have good internet, um, your video might lag behind a little bit. Turning that off, um, pushing audio over video is going to be a better option. People wanna hear you, they might not necessarily wanna see you. Um, Kim loves this other feature, changing your audio to use your phone. So I do. how do you use it, Kim? What's the I feature? use it with the call me feature. I like when we have meetings to just hit to use my phone audio, it automatically calls me. And one of the reasons I love it so much and I recommend it is because it's really easy to troubleshoot your audio from your phone. Mm -hmm. With your computer, it could be a multitude of reasons. We covered that in a past episode, so we don't need to go over it again, but audio can be confusing on your computer, whereas on your phone, it's usually volume up, volume down, mute. Yep. You can go back to that episode. It's audio troubleshooting. It's underneath this one. It's on our archive page. I'll shout those out at the end. Um, but these are all part of a backup plan. And that's the best thing that you can have is a backup plan. Have your phone around. Have another laptop around if you need to. Ask your partner, ask your spouse, ask your kids to stay off the internet while you're having a meeting. These are all things that help you be prepared for what might happen, what might not happen. But it's always good to have a plan, a backup plan, kind of like what we just talked about. So as always, if you're looking for a full feature or a free trial of WebEx, or if you're a current partner, if you have questions, reach out to us. We have no problem answering them. Our email is info at hungerford.tech. You can also go to our website, hungerford.tech, and see all of the archive videos that we have. Um, the next video is going to be a lot of the same. We're going to be teaching about troubleshooting and best practices um, for screen sharing. So we appreciate you hanging out with us. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thank you.